Good evening. It's Friday, May the 24th, and I am sitting here at uh, Michael Garin Hospital. I just came to visit my son, who's lost his feet in this very hospital on the 9th of April, who is suffering from mental illness. So, my son's feet are not completely healed, and um, he was transferred from the surgery unit down to the uh, mental health unit on the fifth floor here at Michael Garin Hospital. So, uh, you know, when I first approached this hospital and advised them that my son is suffering from mental illness, they were very nonchalant and did not take me serious until I made a few phone calls. So now that I've made the phone calls, uh, filed a report with the hospital ombudsman and they covered up whatever, you know how politics, politics goes, I should say. I guess out of a reprisal for me talking and making reviews and making posts, they moved my son from the surgical unit, surgery unit, down to the mental health unit. I just saw my son on Wednesday. I was able to visit him and come and go at my leisure. I called the um, mental health unit before I came all the way from where I live to the east end here. They didn't tell me they have visiting hours. I brought my son food to eat. The um, nurse that came out to me was very dehumanizing, opened the bag of McDonald's and began to search as if I brought contraband or I am a criminal. My son is not a criminal either and has been free on the unit above and he has not caused any harm to anybody or been violent or posed as a security risk in this hospital. Yet his mother, who is free of a criminal record, just came from work today they opened the bag of McDonald's and searched it in front of me and refused to let me see my son just to ensure that he is okay. I called and asked the uh, switchboard, uh, how do I find the uh, clinical manager? His name is Sam here. He, as usual, greeted me with nonchalance and an attitude as if he had so much authority that he didn't care what I would do. I'm going to tell you something. I, I plan to knock on every Canadian door in this country until these people learn how to stop treating people, vulnerable people, people who may not have their socio-economic status. They need to remember they're dealing with humans and not animals. Now my son has been a patient on the psychiatric unit at St. Michael's Hospital. I've never encountered them searching food and treating people as if they're less than. Mind you, it is Mental Health Awareness Week and you will see all these hypocrites claiming they're advocating for the mentally ill, yet you will open a bag of food that the mother brought from McDonald's as if I'm bringing contraband or some weapon or something that if that's not dehumanization tell me what is I'm at the Michael Garin Hospital here I believe it's 825 Coxwell Avenue it is so sad to see that we condemn Israel we condemn Gaza on the news and other 
so-called third world countries and who is acting more barbaric those third world countries or a hospital where the sick comes to get better Jesus what a continent <laughs> mental health awareness week first of all we need to take a look at the individuals who are trained to work with mental health patients and their families you would find them extremely dehumanizing you don't know this is DJ Bubbles aka Nessa inside the Michael Garin Hospital yes in Canada what a shame